Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Kahno Yinga Anga Hawanai Yahala Bashim Yo Shai Bashim Rakakadash. Double Nan Studios and the Apostles of Great Millstone rule well, and as always, we give peace and citations to the elect that are scattered abroad. Alright, to you, few sisters, the Aqua that are listening, learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Andre coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yo Shai. I'm going to edify it to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yo Shai. And I made it title. I'm going to tell you this lesson. The time of seeking the Lord is about to come to an end because, all right, and this article, this is from the vergate.com. All right, it says Google, YouTube, I mean, Gmail, YouTube, Google Docs, and other Google services hit by massive outage. All right, which happened yesterday, which this was uploaded yesterday, December 14, 2020, 2020 year of prophecy. All right, so. Hey, something big is about to happen, okay? Because, look, they're about to get rid of this internet, okay? So the time of seeking the Lord is about to come to an end, man. The Lord is about to close the mouth of his prophets. And we keep telling you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Yahshai. You Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, get this truth while you still can. Because once this truth is gone, that's it. We're done, man. Hey, and the blood is off our hands. All right. Because, hey, we warned you of the things to come. So the time of warning you Israelites is about to come to an end. OK, because these are nothing. And like I say, this is nothing but a test run, man, because the same thing happened. I think. Let's see. I think it was. I'm trying to think it was between. I think it was October or last month when YouTube. You will know when YouTube was out for, let's say, about two or three hours before they got it fixed back up. So these are nothing but test runs, man. OK. And when they get rid of this Internet completely, that's it. You ain't going to have no more YouTube, no more Google, none of that. No more Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook and all these all these social media platforms. All these social media platforms are about to be done away with. OK. Because, you know, I'm trying to think who said that the Internet shouldn't have been shouldn't have never been created. Uh, I think it was uh, Nick Rockefeller, I believe. I believe it was one of them. But I believe one of those elites. I believe Dave Rothschild and Nick Rockefeller is one of them. All right. But nevertheless, OK, this Internet has served its purpose. All right. And this Internet was created to to get this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Like it says in Matthew 24 and verse 14. And this gospel shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then shall the end come. All right. This truth has gone throughout the four corners of the earth. And now the end is near. All right. We're, we're damn near at the end. All right. <laughs> so, hey, things are about to happen. So without further ado, I'm, I'm going to profile two articles. I'm not going to. I'm not really going to read them, but I will put them in the description box. You can, you know, read them for yourself. Go win this lesson. Be at Dan Plus and Precepts. Go win this lesson. Be edifying. All right. It says multiple goods. Lucky <coughs> multiple Google services and websites, including YouTube, Google, Google Assistants, and Google Docs, were down for around an hour on Monday morning after being hit with a widespread outage. And these are nothing but test runs, man. Okay. Google acknowledges the issue with Gmail affecting both its businesses and personal service at 6.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and said the problem was fixed for vast majority of users at 7.52 a.m., which was yesterday morning, okay? Um, identical notice were pos was posted around, I mean, it's not, you know, across the status page for the rest of Google service. So, you know, these are nothing but test runs, man. Okay. And I will put this article in the description box. I'm not going to read, but you get it. It was out for an hour and they got it back up. So, <laughs> but Hey, you're going to see more of this happen. All right. Here's another article. Okay. This is from the AP.com. Okay. APnews.com. It says U S agencies, companies secure network after huge, Sonaki, I'm sorry. Oh no. Come on now. Really? Thank you. 
Snocky, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> U.S. agencies, companies secure net worth after a huge hack. All right, so this is one way of, you know, they're about to get rid of, uh, get rid of the internet because they're saying because they're gonna say, you know, so-called Russia, the means they're, you know, they're hacking into, you know, they're hacking into the internet and you know collecting data and collecting information. So. Hey, this internet is about to be done away with. All right, let's read a little bit of this article. It says U.S. government agencies and private companies rushed Monday Monday to secure their computer networks following the disclosure of a uh, social, what was it, so social litigated and long running cyber espionage intrus intrusion suspected. Of being carried out by Russian hackers okay so this is one way they're about to get rid of the internet man so this is nothing but test runs man okay the full extent of the damage is not yet clear but the potential threat was significant enough that the Department of Homeland Security cyber cyber security unit directed all federal agencies to remove compromised network management software and thousands of companies were expected to do the same so <laughs> hey we're at the end man okay and this is one way they're gonna completely shut this internet down because you know do these of course being hacked all right they're gonna claim that you know russia is hacking the internet and all this stuff and so collecting data and collecting information and so they're gonna completely shut this internet down completely and hey and what's gonna come the famine of the word so that time of coming to the famine of the word is coming man all right it's time of seeking the truth hey it's about to come to an end so let's get to some scriptures mm, all right let's just go up <laughs> I already read this, but I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. This is Matthew 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness to unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this gospel has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth. You got brothers in Italy. You got brothers in Germany. You got brothers in Australia. You got brothers in Central and South America. Preaching this gospel in Mexico, throughout the four corners of the earth, Canada, Africa, etc. So this gospel has reached throughout the four corners of the earth. This internet has served its purpose. So now the end is near. So, hey, what's next? The famine of the word. So the Lord is about to shut the mouths of the prophets. Okay. So the end is near. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Mm. You know, let me get this because hey, and to all you you Israelites, man, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that didn't want to get this truth and didn't want to hearken to the Lord, Yah Bashi Al Shai, through his servants, the prophets. Hey, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> You've been warned. This is Proverbs 1, and actually, I'm gonna start up. Uh, I'm um, gonna start at verse twenty-two. How long, ye simple ones, will look, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorn and their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So the Lord is making known His words unto you, Israelites, man. But what you doing? Verse twenty-four. Because I have called and ye refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. So, what do you Israelites do, man? When you see the prophets out on the highways and byways, and of course, when brothers do sit down lessons, what do you do? You scoff, you mock, you you say, oh, those things are not going to come. And hey, you're about to know that there's been a prophet among you, man. Okay? Because we're about to enter into those times, man. Okay? Jacob's trouble is right at the door. All right, it ain't no longer coming, or it's it's right at the door. It's here, because shit is about to, all kinds of shit's about to happen. Because yesterday, 
as you know, what went out yesterday, the jab, all right, the poison arrow, all right, that went into the arms of people. And you know who was at the forefront of that? Eve, all right? So, hey, we're at the door, man. And look, all hell is about to break loose in this place, okay? So all you Israelites that didn't hearken into the words of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, or shout through his prophets, hey, destruction is coming your way, all right? Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity and will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Then they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Because a lot of you Israelites are about to seek answers when all hell is breaking loose. All right, let's get that. Let's get, uh, I think it's Hosea 5 and 15. All right. You think the prophets are going to be out on the highways and byways and on YouTube warning you, you isn't nice to get right and tell you what's going on? No. Because, hey, it ain't going to be no internet. <laughs> and the prophets are not going to be on the highways and byways, man. Okay? This is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early. You're going to be seeking for answers real soon, man. But you're not going to find them. All right? Let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs. What was that? 26, I believe. Actually, 27. No, it's not 28. <laughs> Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right? A lot of you are going to be seeking for answers real soon because the prophet is about to be removed, man. All right. The Lord is about to close the mouths of the prophets. OK. Verse 29. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Two thirds of you Israelites, you don't choose the fear of the Lord. How about she out shy? OK. You want to be a part of Esau's world. You see what this devil is about to bring. All right. Those poisons. And then that microchip. So, hey, <laughs> you can't say you have not been warned. All right. They would none of my counsels and they despise. They despise all my reproofs. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own ways and be full with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And who is hearkening? The 144,000 and one third let men, women, and children that are believers, the followers. They're the ones that are hearkening to the truth and hearkening to the voice of the Lord Yahweh Okay? Uh, let's see. Verse 30. Verse 31. I'm trying to say, let me play that right quick, I'm sorry. I'm trying to say the best for last, man, because, you know. Uh, yeah, let's get this. Uh, this is Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they say, we will not hearken. A lot of you Israelites, you don't want to hearken to the truth. You're not hearkening to that sound of the trumpet. And that sound of that trumpet, hey, that, that time of blowing the trumpet and warning you Israelites, man, hey, that's about to be over with. The time of blowing the trumpet and warning you Israelites, it's over with, man. It's about to be over with. And I'm going to say it again and again until the saints end. Okay? So this is what you need to be doing. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. The door of mercy is closing, man. That spiritual ark is closing. And I can tell you right now, the elect is, the elect is sealed. Okay? So, or near being sealed. All right? But, hey, we know that it is close. The elect is, I'll probably say it's sealed. And, hey. The Lord is about to close the mouths of the prophets, man. 
Okay, you can't say you have not been warned about the things to come. But a lot of you Israelites, you're trusting in this damn devil. You're trusting in his pseudoscience and all this madness that he's about to bring. And, and then you got Eve at the forefront of the shit. Okay, Eve is going to get, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Eve is about to lead a lot of you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the slaughter. Okay. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh Shai and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. For he will abundantly pardon. Okay. So the Lord will abundantly pardon if you seek him. Let's get this. Next. Excuse me. Acts 3 and 19. <clears throat> Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your spin sloggy, that your sins may be blotted out. Okay? Converted means to come back, to return. Okay? To return to how about Shin Yao Shai before it's too late. Okay? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, you have seen outside, and that time is coming. All right? You can't say you've not been warned, man. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, you have seen outside, and put not off from day to day. It's lucky. Uh, okay. Alright, um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Gotta listen. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. May no tear in the turn to the Lord Yahweh Shai, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Shai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So, hey, make no tear in the turn to the Lord, man. The time is now. You need to be seeking the Lord now, man. Okay? And that time of seeking the Lord is about to come to an end. Mm. <clears throat> this is Proverbs 13, 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. And two-thirds of our people are about to be destroyed, man. They despise this word. They despise the truth. But he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. Okay? Let's get this first. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, the power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. That time, hearing his word, that time of getting the truth. We're, we're near the end. Verse 12. They shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall and shall not find it. You're going to be looking for answers. When all hell is breaking loose, when, when things are getting bad out here, you're going to be looking for answers. You're not going to find them. Why? This is why. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26. And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. The Lord is about to cleave, about to, hey, he's about to shut the mouths of the prophets. We won't be able to tell you, we won't be able to tell you anything. Verse 27. But when they, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh shall shout of power. He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. And it's talking about you Israelites, man, because you are a rebellious house. All right, let me skip over. Uh, let's see. Mm. I'm going uh, I'm going I'm to read, read verse 4. Ezekiel 2 and 4. For they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted. 
I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh shall the power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Among them. You're going to know that there has been a prophet among you real soon that was warning you and to tell you to not to trust your enemy. Tell you just not to take anything from these damn devils. Nothing. You're going to know. These wicked pastors ain't telling you this. They telling you to trust. They telling you to trust the damn devil. Including E. Who's at the forefront of all this. They're telling you to trust. They're going to use your celebrities to tell you to trust this damn devil. But hey. Let's get another. I know I said I really didn't say it was gonna be the last one, but uh let's see. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna read this one. This is Ezekiel 33 and verse 1. I mean not one, Slocky, 33 and verse 31, Slocky, I'm sorry. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they see before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For they are Snoggy, for with their mouths they show much love, but their hearts goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thy art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do not, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. You're going to know in this day. Yeah, you're about to find out. You know what? You're about to find out that there's been a prophet among you. You're going to be searching for the prophets. You're going to be looking for them on the street corners, on the internet, looking for the brother's pages. Completely gone. So, hey. The time of seeking the glory, how about she outside? It's coming to an end. So seek him now. While you still can, man. You can't stress that enough. Alright? So I'm going to win. I pray this lesson was that fine. I'm going to close it out here. And I'm going to give it all. And I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about me on Shai? About Shimon Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Great millstone. We're well. And as always, we give peace and citations unto the hopeful night. See you with another lesson. So I'm going to win. Kwam Yashim Rala. Shalom and why a Bob a ball. Shalom. Till next time.